Here's another configuration option that I haven't seen on video. I'm going to configure the Cisco Smart Software Manager on-prem device to host our licenses for ICE. Then I will point ICE to this on-prem device for all its licenses on this deployment. This option is made available in version 2.7 patch 4, 3.0 patch 2, and all 3.1 versions. The first thing you need to do is download and install the CSSM on-prem server. Once it's installed, you have to connect it to your smart account. To do this, you need a virtual account just for this device. You cannot use a virtual account with any product instances registered to it. As you can see here, I have multiple products registered to this virtual account. So I created a new virtual account using this one as the parent and added on-prem to the end of the name. Go back to software.cisco.com and choose manage account. From here, you can click on virtual accounts and you can see where this is nested. So you can click on create new virtual account and in the parent account, you can choose which to make your parent account, whether it's the root account or the virtual account that you already have. Follow this process to the end to create your new virtual account. Then you can go back to Software Central Choose the Manage Licenses link. And then if you click on the Inventory button, you'll see where you have your virtual account and you have a drop-down box to have both of your virtual accounts being shown. Once this is done, log into your on-prem CSSM and open the Accounts applet. Click the New Account button and fill in the account name with anything that you want to put here. Put in your smart account name and then the virtual account. Remember to use the on-prem account that you created. Once this is done, you can click on the Account Request tab and then look at the Actions menu. Here you'll see three options. The Approve option will ask for your Cisco.com login information and register your on-prem server to the virtual account automatically. Reject, well, denies this request. The manual registration has a lot more steps, but maybe the only way you can register your on-prem server. Let's try the first option. You will be prompted for your login information before registering. Then you can click on the register button to have your on-prem reach out to the smart software manager. Once registration is successful, this dialog will disappear and you'll have nothing left in your account request. If you click on the account tab, you'll see that the account is here and it is active. If you click the actions button, the only option is to deactivate. We're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna go to the license workspace and look at our smart licensing. You can see here if we click on the inventory and then go to licenses, we have no licenses shown. So let's close this window and we're gonna go back to our CSSM. And we're gonna deactivate this instance of our CSSM. Once it's deactivated, we're gonna go back to the actions menu and we're going to delete it. Now to fully delete this from our software central, then we have to go back in to our virtual account we created just for this and go to our on-prem accounts. We're gonna to go to actions and remove and we're gonna say yes. We're gonna confirm that we want to remove this on-prem account. Now there's nothing here and we're gonna go through the manual process of registering our CSSM to our virtual account. Steps are pretty much the same as far as this goes, but once we submit and go to the account request, we're going to choose the actions menu and then manual registration. Here we're gonna create a registration file that we're gonna to have to download. And then once that's downloaded, we're gonna go back to our Cisco Software Central and go to on-prem accounts and click our new on-prem, give it a name. I'm gonna, of course, use ICE Demo Lab, then upload that registration file that we just downloaded from our on-prem account. We're gonna apply it to our virtual account that we created just for our SSM on-prem and generate the authorization file. This is gonna take a couple minutes. Once the file is generated, you're gonna get a dialog that allows you to download the authorization file. We're gonna download that and go back into our on-prem software manager. Click browse to upload the file. Once the file is uploaded, then we have to click the upload button. This is gonna read all the information that is in that authorization file and place that configuration into your on-prem server. Again, once that account is created, it'll disappear from the account request tab and it'll show up in the account tab.
you see it here again your actions are only to deactivate the account status is active let's go back to the licensing workplace and look at smart licensing we're going to go to inventory and licenses you can see here that during the manual registration it actually populates the licenses that were allocated for this virtual account now let's go back in our admin workspace and open a synchronization applet we're going to select our on-prem server and click the sync selected button this is going to synchronize all of our license information with our online smart account then we can set a schedule for a synchronization i'm going to set my frequency for a weekly synchronization at noon on sundays this way if i have any change in my licensing that i deposit new licenses into the account or take licenses out of the account then on a weekly basis it'll be updated automatically if i need to change my licenses and synchronize anytime sooner than that I can go back to the accounts tab and perform a manual synchronization. Now it's time to point ICE to use the on-prem CSSM server as our licensing server. So we're going to go into our ICE web GUI and go to administration system licensing. As you can see we've got two nodes already registered to our SSM online and we're using smart licensing. So we're gonna change from our HTTPS proxy to an SSM on-prem server and type in the host name for our server. Then we go to our on-prem license workspace, not our admin console. And we go to our inventory tab, scroll down to the new token button, give it a description. Of course, I'm gonna use ICE Demo Lab. You can leave the defaults for the rest and then create token. Once you create the token, you can click on the blue arrow next to the token itself, highlight all the text, copy it, go back into ICE and paste it into registration token field here. Scroll down, make sure all of your licenses that you want to use are selected and click the update button. Once you click yes to update, you'll see the updating registration widget work as ICE registers so you knew SSM on-prem server. Once registration is successful, your licensing page will reload and you can scroll down and check your entitlements and your compliance on all of your licenses. As you can see, we're using two VM licenses. If we go back to our license workspace and choose the licenses tab, we can see that our two licenses are being used here. If we click on that number, we'll see that the ICE OVF tool is our primary admin node that is allocating both of those licenses. We also see that we're using the passive identity connector and the passive identity connector upgrade. If you recall my previous videos, I upgraded my pick to a full version of ICE and it will always allocate these licenses to an upgraded version of PIC. So to get our compliance in order, we need to transfer some licenses from my main virtual account to my on-prem virtual account. We have to do this at our online smart software manager and we click on our virtual account here, make sure we're in our root virtual account where we have all of our licenses and click the licenses tab. Then we can scroll down to the licenses we want to transfer. In this case, we'll transfer the PIC upgrade first. So we'll click Actions, Transfer. We have to select the virtual account we're transferring to. So choose our on-prem. We're only going to transfer one of these licenses at this time. So we'll click the Transfer button. And then once we're done with that, we'll get this pop-up for a survey. Close this, and then we'll transfer our PIC license. Actions, Transfer again. Of course, we have to choose our virtual account again and quantity one here as well and then click transfer we're going to get another pop-up asking for a survey close that now we're going to go back into our admin workspace open up the synchronization applet and we're going to do a manual sync you should notice that since there are changes to the licensing this sync does take a little bit longer once the sync is successful we can go into our license workspace we have to back out to our main page on this and then go back in so it refreshes our licenses, go back to inventory and licenses. And then you can see now that we are in compliance with our PIC licenses since we've upgraded to full version. The last thing to note is if we go back to our online smart account and we choose our virtual accounts, you can see that we have a new icon next to our on-prem account. And if we click on that account, we'll see that we have our on-prem device listed here next to our account. You cannot generate any tokens from this new virtual account once you have an on-prem device registered to it. And you cannot add any product instances to this account other than through your on-prem device. Thanks again for watching and visiting the ICE Demo Lab. Like the video if you did in fact like it. Subscribe if you want to get notifications when we post new videos. I'll talk to you in our next one.